Hey there, it is May 7th, Friday, the start of the weekend, and I am doing my daily journal at about, what time is it? I think it's like almost 10 o'clock at night. It's quarter to 10 on May 7th, and um, the day's over, I'm tired, it's been... A long day. I got up this morning at four o'clock in the morning and I had to drive like an hour and a half to a dentist appointment and then I had to come back. I go through Chicago like two hours back. Um, yeah, so I was out and about. It was a long day. Did do what I said I was gonna do uh, last night. Um, you know, I did all my good night prayers and good morning prayers and Bible study and I did yoga, you know, before I got out the door and got on the road for the most part today was a pretty good day. Um, yesterday I shared that I was a bit, it was an emotional day and, um, Today was a little bit of an emotional day, but um, I think I'm past it. Uh, thank God for exercise. You know, I, um, I had to go uh, get some boxes from Lowe's. So I asked my father if he wanted to go with me because we I was doing the... Um, curbside pickup so I'm like hey do you want to go walking because there's a walking path um, in Michigan City that goes around a little lake or pond or whatever um, and so we went there the other day and we walked around and it was about 24 minutes that we walked around and he walked for about 19 we took a few breaks took oh, I think he sat down four times on this walk and it's about half a mile and um, yesterday he we it was raining so we got on the treadmill and he did um, 0.65 miles so he went further um, and I think he did maybe like 27 minutes but he did take several breaks when he did that and he really just doesn't like excuse me doesn't like the treadmill and so when you tell yourself you don't like something and you try to do it it's your um that the need or desire to stop periodically really gets you um so it was good that it was, although it was a little cool today, it's nice that it was, it was a sunny day and we were able to go. And so I was, um, the way I approached it, because obviously I walk faster than he does, you know, he's 83 years old, he had a stroke last year, he's got a little bit, he's got some weakness on um, his right, in his right leg, and so he walks kind of slow and he's got a little bit of a limp because he's got this weakness so he doesn't he doesn't walk fast um and so I was like you know when I walked with him the other day I was just going at the same pace he was going and so today I took a different approach I'm like okay there are I'll take the same path as him and there are benches along the way and so I brought my jump rope with me and so I would jog you know from where we started to the first bench and then I would jump rope like do 200 jumps and go to the next bench and do the same thing so I stopped five times and so I ended up doing a thousand um jumps while he walked and so um I thought, you know, like I got to the first bench first and did like maybe 150 
jumps when he caught up to me. And I'm thinking he's going to sit down. He's like, no, 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 I'm going to keep going. So I kept going. I finished my jumps, jogged. Excuse me. Oh, I'm tired. Um, anyway, jogged to the next one and, you know, did my jumps. And I probably did like 150. And uh, before he caught up to me again, you know, and I was like, are you stopping? He's like, nope, I'm going to keep going. So he kept going. And um, I went to the, so I, I did some more jumps. And then I went to the next bench and um, realized that the fourth bench, because I think there's a total of five benches going around. So he got to the fourth bench and he decided to sit down and I looked and I was like, oh, wow, you've walked for, you know, almost 13 minutes, which is really, really good because um, I think the first time we went out, he started to walk and he got to the first bench and he stopped. <clears throat> oh, I apologize, but I did tell you at the beginning that I was sleepy. This is why I normally don't do late night, late night post because I get tired at night. Um, but anyway, he um, he stopped at about two minutes and fifty seconds, I think. And uh, you know, then he walked maybe till we got to about six minutes, seven minutes in, and you know, they kept getting a little bit longer the first time we went out. But he did, you know, he stopped a lot. And, um, for nice amounts of time, two, and today he only stopped once. And, you know, it was pretty much at the halfway point. And, uh, he got around and, you know, he did it in like 23 minutes. And, um, I was able to do my stuff in 23 minutes as well. And, um... You know, he's like, I'm not even tired. He's like, I didn't really have to stop, but I just, I thought I was getting tired and just wanted to be careful, you know, and take a break. So, um, it's nice to see him motivating himself to do more and actually achieving it and being excited about the accomplishment as well. And we had a really good conversation uh, because, you know, since he had the stroke, you know, he made a lot of progress up front. And, um, but over the past few months, you know, while it's been cold outside, he just hasn't been doing enough. But I was telling him, I was just like, you know, the more that you do this, um, I can tell that your, your endurance is, um, you're increasing your endurance. And, I can tell that it's having a positive effect on everything else. You know, he was with his um, uh, stroke. You know, he was weak on he was weak on one side, and um, you know he had some speech issues, some language issues, and you know, so when he's sitting around a lot, he's very stiff and. You know, he kind of um, walks kind of dragging his feet a little bit. You know, so instead of like taking real steps, he's kind of shuffling <laughs> instead of stepping. And, you know, the more he walks, the less he shuffles. The more he walks, the less he struggles to find words. Um, and he just, you know, you can have a conversation and it just seems like it's, he's back to his old self more. So we were able to have a really good conversation just, you know, saying, hey, these are, these are the things that you have to do if you want to be able to live life independently and, and um, you don't want people to worry about you, blah, 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 that kind of thing. So, <laughs> So that was really good. But anyway, I was going to say that um, on my way to go to this um, walking path, I was, I felt myself feeling nervous and kind of anxious and kind of 
uneasy and I really don't like that feeling at all. So jogging and um, doing the jump rope, getting my heart rate up and everything. By the time I got done with that, I was just like, okay, thank God that yucky feeling went away. And um, now I feel much better. So I'm excited about that. Um, so MEPS check-in. Uh, mentally, at this very moment, I'm happy to say I'm clear. I wasn't clear all day. You know, it was a process. I had to, you know, kind of release last night and I feel like I still had some stuff that I needed to release today and um, I was able to talk some things out with a few people today. Um, and so then obviously doing that exercise really helped me. So I feel like I got it all out of my system and I feel much better now. So mentally I am clear. And as I am clear mentally, emotionally, I am not happy. But obviously I had um, a little negative yesterday and emotional yesterday wasn't as emotional today I wasn't as negative today but you know I probably was a little bit earlier in the day um and I'm just thankful you know that I have people in my life that you know give me permission to be able to talk through some things so that was good physically I'm good I'm just tired you know I've been up since four o'clock in the morning um, you know, I didn't feel great yesterday emotionally, so I probably, so I didn't get that great of sleep last night. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm really, I'm really tired, hence the like 18 yawns during this conversation. Um, and then spiritually, I still feel, I feel very, very blessed, you know, yesterday, Excuse me. When I was feeling a little bit uneasy, I um, had a couple of my friends, you know, I had one friend sent me, and I hadn't talked to anybody, so nobody knew, you know, how I was feeling. But out of the blue, I have a friend that lives in Indi Indianapolis, and he sent me <laughs> this video, which was... Um, you know, Alvin and the Chipmunks, I guess there's like a female version of the Chipmunks and they sing this little song called, you know, Three Little Birds. It was something about three little birds camped out my window and something, I forget how the song goes, but it's a cute little song. And um, I think it's kind of gone viral on, um, on uh, TikTok and all these people are doing these little videos. So this was a little at least the music was from from TikTok and he's just like oh you know I just wanted to put a smile on your face and I thought wow that was all out of the blue like I can't even remember the last time I talked to him and all of a sudden he sends me this message and then um another one of my friends who's been um just really really busy a lot and very difficult to connect with you know, you know, sent me a little note, like right on time, right when I was feeling bad, you know, it's like, oh, hey, how you doing? Hope your day is going well. And I had, you know, sent a text message to say, you know, did you ever have one of those days that it should have been a good day, but um, it's not, and you just feel like crying? And, um, you know, I really wasn't expecting to get an answer back and he called me right away. And unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to talk to him because my daughter called me at the exact same time. And I guess he felt after that, like, okay, you know, I talked to him today. He's like, yeah, you know, when somebody calls or somebody gives you an indication that something's wrong, you should check on them just to make sure they're okay because it could be a crisis or whatever. So... Um, I was just really very appreciative of that. And so I said all that to say, um, I'm blessed. I am thankful to God because God sends you what you need. And he puts, 
you know, people in your life to be there for you, to give you the hugs or whatever else you need when you're going through something. And so I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, so yeah, so that's me. That's who I am. I, uh, well, I've been talking for like 15 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off here. Because like I said, a sister needs to go to sleep. See you later.